Gemma is now a nine month old English Springer Spaniel puppy and we're starting to do these milestone videos so that if you're adopting an English Springer Spaniel or you're going through puppyhood or you just love my puppies, you can kind of see the behind the scenes of who they are and how they are growing. So Gemma is nine months old right now. She's been with me for a hot minute and she is really settling into herself. She's gone through quite the number of stages as a puppy and she's doing really, really well. So Gemma is definitely my introvert. She is my homebody. She would rather be napping on the couch than playing outside. She went through a fear period of driving in the car. We take her on lots of travels. And so she did really well. And then there was a fear period. And then she does really well again. So I can put her directly in my car and she will immediately go to sleep. She loves to watch people though. So when we get to our destination, she will pop her little self right up and stare at people out the window. And she's very quiet about it. She, she only barks when her sister starts to bark. She usually does not start the barking at people unless her sister does although both of them are very good at just watch at this point. And so she is incredibly watchful. She loves to just take things in. Now where Lucy is incredibly happy to see people, Gemma is just incredibly interested in what's going on. She likes to take in information and she likes to use it to assess what she's going to do next. So Gemma loves to go places and loves to watch people. She loves to sit on the back of our couch by the window and just watch the world outside. She's very interested in things like the squirrels and the birds. Her bird drive is kicking in. So she loves to watch the birds as they fly overhead when we're outside playing. Outside playing, she does have her emotional support frisbee. She is loving playing with the frisbees, but she is very particular about them. She likes to chew on them and carry them around. She likes for me to throw them for her. But when she starts to chomp on them and put holes in them, she doesn't love them as much. So when we know when she starts ignoring her frisbee, it's not a frisbee she wants to play with anymore and we have to replace it with another one. She's particular about the shape and the texture as well. And she's had them in lime green. She's also had them in purple colors. And um, fun, fun fact, you can actually get a lot of these like dog toys after the holidays. So this is a Halloween one. There's actually a jack-o'-lantern on it. Her purple one has bats on it, but I got them real cheap right after Halloween for her. And that is how we can so easily replace them. And she likes the specific textures and the specific weights as well. So we have to, you know, try different things with her. She loves to carry them around. She also really loves to chase her sister around. They're very good about playing outside and they'll take turns chasing each other. Sometimes she'll try to play with her sister's toy. Her sister likes to carry around a rubber ball, but she has gone through periods where she really loves leaves. I had the bright idea of giving her an emotional support leaf, which led into the Frisbee, which was great. But now she sometimes likes to pick up leaves and taunt her sister with them. And so they'll both like play and uh, fake bicker over the leaves and kind of rip them in half. And they'll chase each other around with leaves in their mouths. And so it's a really fun opportunity for them to play. But like I said, Gemma's definitely an inside girl. She is currently sleeping on the couch right now as we speak. Oh, she's dreaming. And she uh, is very good about her routines. Gemma is a routine dog. Lucy's very flexible. Gemma is my routine girl. She likes to know what's coming up. She likes to have those routines. She's very much into her bedtime routine. Her bedtime routine involves like an hour of playtime with me, then going outside, coming back in, she gets her chin and her chest and her tummy and her legs and her feet washed off because she is allergic to grass and just about everything else in life. She's allergic to a lot of things and we can't quite figure it out yet. My vet really doesn't know and hasn't really been much help on this front. So we're working on figuring out poor Gemma's allergies. She, it's like skin allergies and uh, eye allergies. And we've tried different like foods and different things with her. She is Definitely a dog who is hand fed. So I hand feed both of my girls because Gemma has this thing where she'll like gobble up her food, not chew it properly, try to swallow it, and then immediately try to put more food in her mouth, which chokes her. I have had to help her to remove that from her throat once, and that was terrifying enough that I now hand feed my dog. And so she has worked really well with her tricks. She's so impeccable about doing her tricks. She's just like a very gentle soul. She, she's, she takes things very personally. She's, she's like the little kid you need to protect. You have to be careful what you say and how you do to those little kids. You've got to kind of be careful and protective of Gemma because she'll take things personally. And she's very soft and very sweet about it. She has her own food time. So they don't get to eat their food at the same time. One will be outside, one will be inside. And I, We'll always just sit there and she'll just very gracefully give me her paw and she'll just very gently. We've gotten her to the point, thank goodness, where we slowed down her eating. She used to gobble it up even though I was giving her a handful at a time. Now, for the most part, she'll 
she'll take her time eating it and she won't rush the process, but she is very precise about how she does her tricks because she knows what is expected of her and she wants to do that and do it well. So where Lucy is a little chaotic and a little expressive and a little like all over the place when we're doing tricks while we're feeding her, Gemma is very precise about it. She will do it correctly. She will do what you ask and it's not going to be something where she's like, uh, if, if I tell her chin, she, she'll she gently put her face in my hand and she'll look at me and wait for me to release her to get her food where her sister will just be like, boom, I did it. I did it. Let's go. So Gemma is very precise about how she does things, which is just so cute and so sweet. She's very good about letting me groom her at this point. So she's she likes the routine of like having her tummy washed. If I say, can I wash your tummy? She'll come right over and flip over and let me wash her tummy. And she will do that throughout the day, but also at nighttime for her bedtime routine. But she lets me groom her very well. She'll just kind of relax as I'm trimming up her paw pads and clipping her nails and all of those things. Um, she's she's very good about allowing me to do whatever it is that I need to do. But she does still have some boundaries with her sister. She does want her own space. Like I said, introvert versus Lucy's extrovert. So she does like to have her own space. She's cuddly as anything, but only for a period of time. Gemma will only cuddle with me for so long. She wants to be near me, but she's also, she's the hottest dog I've ever seen. Like of all the dogs I've ever owned, this girl is like a little ball of heat. She's so hot all of the time. And so I think that might be part of it. Like laying on me then absorbs my body heat as well. And it's just really hot for her. And she just doesn't want to be touched all the time. So she loves to come over while I'm working. If I'm sitting on the couch working on my computer, she'll come over and put her head on my lap and she'll cuddle with me and she'll flip over and ask me to pet her tummy. And she just wants to be with me. But sometimes she also needs a little bit of space. And so she'll like move away from me a couple of feet and she'll just kind of sit there. Whereas Lucy would crawl into my skin and live there if at all possible. So she, she does like to have her own space. She's a little bit introverted. She's very much like me in that mindset. We love to be around people and doing things and seeing all the fun stuff and being involved. But then like, please give me time to go regenerate my batteries at home by myself. Um, and she, she loves to play. She loves to have fun. She loves to do it on her specific schedule. So Gemma is definitely one of those dogs who uh, is more like most dogs. She has a little bit of like cat-like tendencies and she likes her own personal space. She has some things that she's definitely still working on. She definitely, um, is, still kind of resource guarding a little bit. Sometimes she doesn't really love being around her sisters as much. Sometimes she gets a little grumbly. She doesn't always like to listen to like my mom, for example. She's always good about listening to me, but she, we're still working on like other people associating with her. Um, but Gemma is definitely, definitely happy. She's healthy. She's hungry all the time. She's a hungry little baby. She would love more snacks, but we're very aware of keeping those things on a schedule for her. And she very much likes her routines. She likes to understand what we're doing and where we're going. I have taken her on many trips at this point. She is very comfortable going on trips. She doesn't love the water just yet. So I've taken her to the beach a number of times and she loves to play on the sand. She is still scared of the water. So we're still building this up. We've taken her twice to the beach now. The first time she went in the water and then got scared of it. So the second time she gets closer to the water, but she doesn't want to go in the water. So we're improving because as soon as she got scared of the water, she wanted to be as far away as possible. Now I can get her fairly close to the water without her being traumatized. So we're getting there. Um, she's she, Interestingly enough, I rented a private pool over the summer and she was the one that jumped into the pool and went swimming with me. She didn't love being in there swimming. Neither of them loved the water, which is so weird for Springer. So the only Springers that... I've had that haven't immediately taken to the water. And she was brave enough to jump in. She's definitely the braver of my dogs. She is willing to investigate. She's willing to find things out. She's willing to take care of mommy. And so when she, you know, is introduced to the scary vacuum cleaner, she's the one that'll run up to it first. When she is trying to figure out a situation, she will make sure that she is the one stepping forward to investigate first. She does kind of try to take care of me and the others as well. So she's definitely a little bit braver than Lucy is, but Lucy will follow along behind her as well. And she is just having a great time exploring things, taking all of her beautiful naps and being a cuddle baby. She again likes her space. 
but she likes to be a part of things and she likes to be involved and she's really good at learning her tricks. She's very fast at learning her tricks. When we first started out, it took her a lot longer to catch on than Lucy did, but now she's real good at catching on to things. And so we're advancing what we're doing. We're teaching her new things. I'm showing her how to do some stuff that's laying the groundwork for some really cool tricks I'm going to teach her in a little bit. And both of my girls are gearing up to be agility dogs. We're not doing any like legit agility things because there's there's nothing around here. There's nothing here where I can't, there's no equipment, there's no places, there's no training. So I have my own equipment. We're going to train on that when they hit that one year mark because they will um, be able to do that at that point. If you're training on agility, you have to you know, make sure their bones are all settled in before you're having them jump over things. But they're both going to be really good at jumping, at playing, at doing agility things. So we're working toward that with Gemma. And she is just loving all the things and not necessarily loving the cold as much as her sister is. <laughs> So we will continue to keep you updated on the puppies. If you've got questions on the girls, go ahead and drop those down below. If you want to see one of these videos on Ember, you can let me know. We've already got a video on Lucy out, so you can be checking those out as well. And we'll see you over on the social medias where we're showing you behind the scenes of their lives as well and daily videos here on the channel helping you navigate the world of being a dog parent. We'll see you then.